Back new at six, two green country teachers are spending their summer break getting a new project off the ground. They're trying to keep their students from falling behind on their reading skills. Two Works For You anchor Will Dupree is in Pryor to show us how they're doing that. Every Wednesday morning, Bobby Buck Memorial Park here in Pryor becomes more than just a playground. It now doubles as the place where two teachers are helping their students spend their summer breaks in a productive way. I say how do you do? Beneath the park's covered so picnic area, one, two, two three. Third grade teacher Robert Beatty reads to any children who stop by. Great job. While library media specialist Connie Melton helps them find books to take home. We went into this, if we only saw one child a week, we feel that, that we accomplished something because we touched one child's life. The two friends launched the town's first mobile library when the school year ended after asking other teachers to donate books. I could see a difference in those who had read over the summer and those who had not. So um, it, it does make a difference and we should be reading all the time as often as we can. The goal, they say, is twofold. They first want to keep students at such critical ages, Johnny. like seven-year-old Haley Stimson, on top of their reading skills. I like reading because it's so fun and you can, you can get smarter every time you try to read. The teachers also hope the kids come to enjoy reading just as much as they do. That was good inflection. Good job. After a couple of hours, the bins filled with books are loaded up and hauled away. A few leaving with Haley. Yeah, I'm taking four home. Whether any of those books are ever returned is no big deal to Melton. If a child comes and gets books and it doesn't come back, it's okay. It's at least they have a book at home. It might be the only book they have. The mobile library runs every Wednesday through July 21st. Reporting from Pryor, Will Dupree, Two Works For You.